Lloyd's Miracle Day, Dead of Nights, the third episode of series 4, is written by Jane Espenson and it's starring John Barrowman, Eve Miles, Mickey Fiffer, Alexa Havins, Kai Owen and Bill Pullman. So this is the episode where Rex and Esther became the members of Torchwood after being accused of traitors. So Fredkin went downstairs to see Oswald on the news, but held at gunpoint by Rex, interrogating him about turning CIA against him. So Fredkin said he doesn't know the boss, they've been around for decades and they've paid him for years. He was only contacted by one telephone number. So the police came by, Gwen put the spikes on the road and the torture had made a run for it after Rex deafened Fredkin by shooting next to his ear. I thought it was pretty grim when there's people at night wearing those masks with a sad face painted on, carrying candles. I'm like, what is going on here? So the torture team found a hideout. The only foods that Gwen could find at petrol station is crisps. And I like it when Esther reminds Gwen that petrol station and crisps are called gas station and chips in America. Mobile phone is cell phone and cash point is ATM. I never knew lemonade are flat in US and it's fizzy in UK. Esther wanted to phone her sister but Rex wouldn't allow it because CIA could trace it. So the torture team stole a car, drove up to warehouse and I love how Gwen just knock a guard out. Meanwhile at hospital, Vera is complaining to the police that a woman with a sore neck has been strangled by her husband and they don't consider it as murder, which is because it's impossible to murder since after the miracle started. Torchwood searches up Ficorp and plans to tackle it. Rex phones his ex-CIA instructor to arrange for a meetup in the hotel, but the armed police broke in so Rex is pissed and didn't want to be part of Torchwood, especially the fact that Jack has got dead friends. Susie, Ianto, Gwen and Tosh. So Rex drove away. Jack went into a nightclub and met Brad, played by Dylan Casey, who was a bartender at Golden Gopher. So Brad and Jack had sex with each other. Meanwhile, Rex broke into Vera's apartment, needing help to cover his wound. So then Rex and Vera ended up having sex. Apparently, there's been broadcast difference for sex scenes. UK, they edited the sex with Jack and Brad because it was deemed inappropriate for the prime time slot. But spokesperson of BBC said that the edits would not affect the story in any way. John Barrowman said that sex scenes in the show were not gratuitous and did form a part of a plot. The casting side for Brad, the bartender, were concerned about Jack being de by American Network stars. So John Barrowman explained to Access Hollywood reporters that the gay sex scenes the series would feature would be more explicit than previous shots of its kind in Torchwood. Because Stars as a US premium cable network allowed the show to push the envelope a little bit more. And of course I don't think there's anything wrong with people being gay. So Oswald had something to eat in the cafe but after he left he's been chased by a couple because of what he did. So he ran into the police, the police told him to go home, Oswald asked for a lift back home, but he got dropped off to seclude its location and the police kind of beat the shit out of him, but not in the face for his next TV interview. So he gets dropped off outside the motel and Jilly came and taking Oswald with her to Dulles. And we get a nice moment where Gwen contacts Reese and Anwen and apparently Andy said he can move them back to Swansea. Vera got angry because Rex wanted her to spy for Torchwood, so he had to leave. However, the next day she agrees, and Jack loves a good hangover. <laughs> so after Gwen shows Rex those contact lenses, she goes into the fight court building and into Jilly's office, looking through her files. Luckily, Vera called Jilly to keep her out of her office, so Jack confronts Oswald because his claim of forgiveness and saying sorry was a lie. So Oswald admitted that he was proud that he murdered a 12 year old girl because he flaunted her innocence. He felt like he was painting her with each blow and when she died he felt her life force leave through him and feeling he accuses Jack for knowing as well. Bill Pullman like I said is a nice bloke in real life but his character is an absolute sick bastard. So Oswald got security to give Jack a few punches and threw him out. Rex gets a call from someone but there was no voice, just a triangle that looks like a PlayStation triangle button. And I like it. 
which I think it's to trace the phone, so him and Esther got out, so Oswald broadcast on the news saying to join him in his great enterprise as we all walk across the fragile skin of Earth with a guy who's convicted a rapist, paedophile, a murder. No thanks. Oswald also said the endless future is terrifying. He's offering his hand to walk on this long journey together. Walk with him. Jeez. I think this is a great episode, great acting, story, music and everything. What did you think of this episode? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks as always for watching and see you in the next video.